Hello guys, Tiger Blow Neil here and um, <laughs> I've got some quite amused, like I want to talk about something really amusing today, like basically it happened last night, um, basically Newcastle United have just sold Musa Sissoko for £30 million to Tottenham Hotspur and what a crazy night it's been, seriously it's been absolutely manic, it's like there was news reported like going on for ages last night like for hours that he was going to Everton it looked like he was going to go to Everton and um, it was all set up they matched the 30 million asking price and it was like whoa where the hell did Everton come from you know what I mean Everton don't spend that much normally you know what I mean and it was going to be like a club record and um, <laughs> and I think us as Newcastle fans were like because we just wanted to get rid of him because his heart and desire just isn't with Newcastle at the minute. Um, so we were like, Everton are going to buy him. Seriously? Seriously, Everton? What's going on with you? And um, it was quite amusing because we were like, well, he wants Champions League football, so how is he going to get Champions League football by going to Everton? And it was just like, does he really hate Newcastle that much that he would even take back what he said about the Champions League and stuff? And go to Evan. Is that how bad he hates us? <laughs> it was like, whoa! He fuck, he must be desperate to get out of Newcastle. He must, fuck, I know, he must despise with that much. Um. So yeah, it looked like he was going to Evan. It really did. And then at the last second, Tottenham at the same time matched the thirty million asking price as well. <laughs> and since so was mind, he must have just thought, whoa! So Tottenham have came in for us as well. Evan have. What's, what's the highest chance I'm going to get to play at a higher level of football? And um, yeah, he must have just, he must have, in his mind, also spoke to his agent and being like, all right, well, I think I'll go to Tottenham now, mate. Uh, I'll talk to my agent. Um, so, yeah, I'll go to, I'll go to um, Tottenham now. And it's crazy, it's crazy to think that two clubs have came in at the last minute. For 30 million for him like if you if you talk about his form from um the last couple of seasons for newcastle you can probably count on your you can probably count on one hand how many good games he's had in that time like it's that crazy it's like you know he had a really good euros so i think that's why people have matched it but what you don't know what to soak you're going to get are you going to get the incredible to soak that like plays plays with passion and desire, which he showed glimpses of in his Newcastle career, but just not enough. Like really, really not enough. He like he didn't bring it. He didn't bring it all the time, which he should have done. You know, he was he came to Newcastle with a lot of hope, and it was like wow, we've got a, we've bought a really good player here. I think we only paid something like one point five million for him in two thousand and thirteen. I think it was, and uh, he showed glimpses of his skill, and we're well, like whoa, this is a really good player here. You know. We couldn't ask for a better player here in midfield. But as time went on in his Newcastle career, he just showed up when he wanted to. He was like, oh, I'm on Sky Sports tonight, so I'll I'll perform. I'll make sure I have a good game. But then when it was clo behind closed doors and it wasn't televised, he used to have shocking games. He just didn't try. And that's that's the case, that's been the case with a lot of Newcastle players in the last few years. You know, I don't know what happens. Like They've got all the potential in the world, they'll show glimpses, but then they don't turn up for the majority of the time. And I'd say in his whole Newcastle career, I'd say probably he gave about 10% 10, 10 in that whole time. So the 90% he was just lacking, he just wasn't performing for it. And uh, we're all laughing that he's went, because we wanted him away, but we didn't want to pay for him still, when he clearly doesn't want to play here. But uh, the funniest thing about it is, just like a bit of humour I'm sure the Tottenham fans will maybe be a bit annoyed but they might have a laugh at it as well is that it was only in June that like he said in an interview that he was his desire was to go to Arsenal his heart and passion was to go to Arsenal so he can play in the same strip like that the likes of Bergkamp did Thierry Henry his fellow Frenchmen like Henry Perez Will Toad, and who does he go and sign for? Like their biggest rivals, <laughs> like in Tottenham. It's like it's like crazy. It's like does he realise that they're Arsenal's rivals? 
does he realise the controversy in that? That he's put his heart on his sleeve for Arsenal just two months ago and now he's signed for the rivals. It's it's just crazy, it's it's hilarious in a way. And uh I think we're just we just think it's really good business. I think we've done really, really good business getting that price. I didn't expect it. I thought that we were being too ambitious to get that price. You know, I would even I would have took half of that. I would have took fifteen million, ten million even, you know. It would, it would have still been over £10 million profit for what we paid for him. So the fact that we've made nearly £30 million in profit in the space of three years, well, how inconsistent he's been as well, it's a, I think it's a, I think it's an absolute steal for us. Like, But um, let us know what you guys think. I mean, I, I think it's the best business of the transfer window, to be honest. Because you just can't guarantee that he's going to perform like he did at the Euros every game. You d you just don't know. It was the same with Wijnaldum last season. He used to perform the odd game and then he would disappear the other game and it was just like, you know, we can't have a player like that on my team. We need pe we're need we in the Championship now, so we need people who are going to play every game to get out of that league. And Sissoko just, nah. If if no one had a came in and bought him, I don't know what we would have done. I don't even think we would have played him to be honest. Because would he had that desire for Newcastle to get what promoted? I just I, I don't think so to be honest. So I think it's an amazing deal. I think you know if Tottenham are happy, we're happy. You know, hopefully he plays well for you and he shows it and he can prove us wrong. But you just didn't want to play for Newcastle, so good deals all around. Anyway, guys, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Um, there's going to be some more gaming videos coming soon, obviously with a new Call of Duty coming out, Pro Evo and FIFA. Um, but it's been mainly Newcastle and stuff videos at the minute, so I apologise if you want gaming videos. But uh, plenty more to come, and uh, I'll see you later. Thank you.